The story kicks off with a calm village where a young man named Kim the Unseok lives. At that moment, Unseok was busy making himself a cup of coffee. Meanwhile, there's this pretty lady named Haewon lugging her suitcase around. She just came back to the village to visit her aunt, Myung Yeo. However, their relationship seems less than harmonious. Later in the day, and so can be seen working in his field. Before long, Haewon strolls up to him and starts asking about how he's doing. They've been buddies since high school. After Insoap answered Haewon's questions, he also asked her how long she planned to hang around in the village. Haewon said she'd be sticking around a bit longer. Upon hearing this, Insoap's face lit up with happiness. He was overjoyed after their meeting and smiled to himself while making coffee, like someone who was in love. Later that night, there was a heavy downpour, and Haewon woke up from her sleep because her room had a little leak. She hurriedly checked it out, but when she tried to go back inside her house, the door was broken and she got locked out. She attempted to call her aunt Myeongyeo, but Myeongyeo didn't wake up. So Haewon had no other option but to go to her neighbor's house. When the door opened, it turned out to be in Soap's place. Haewon went inside and they chatted while enjoying hot coffee. Haewon then discovered that in Soap's house was actually a bookstore with all sorts of books. However, she realized that in Soap hadn't changed much. He was still a bit of a reserved young man. Actually, when Haewon asked about herself, and Soap gave short answers while engrossed in a book, he seemed lost in his own world. However, as Haewon was leaving, and Soap showed some care by giving her a jacket to keep warm. But after handing over the jacket, he quickly went back to reading, almost ignoring Haewon. The next morning, and Soap had breakfast with his family. Surprisingly, and Soap's younger sister, Linwi, told their parents that and Soap already had a girlfriend named Iron. Linweed found this out by snooping in Insoap's notebook. She also mentioned that Insoap had been head over heels for Irene since high school. Insoap was taken aback by this revelation and swiftly changed the subject. In the evening, Haewon returned after yet another argument with Myeongyeo. Feeling upset, she decided to take a walk to clear her mind. During her stroll, she ran into Insoap again, who was busy fixing the door of his bookstore. Haewon took a seat on the terrace of Insoap's store. While Insoap worked on the door, he sneakily admired Hai Wan's beautiful face. Unexpectedly, Lin Wei showed up and immediately asked if the woman on the terrace was Iron. The scene then shifts to the past, revealing that every spring, and Soap always missed Irene, who would return to her hometown. Whenever Iron went out, and Soap would secretly follow her from a distance. He would even secretly help her with her activities. Irene was in Soap's high school friend, and they were in the same class. The moment in Soap first saw Irene, he was immediately attracted to Irene's figure. He had always dreamt of living with her, and it turns out that Irene is none other than Hai Wan, the woman sitting in front of him right now. After fixing the door, and Soap received a call from his friend, inviting him to their class reunion. In the end, and Soap asked Hai Wan to join him at the reunion. When they got there, their friends asked and Soap if he had a crush on someone from their class. At first, and Soap said he didn't have any feelings for anyone. However, his answer only made his friends more suspicious, thinking he had a secret crush among them. As they pushed him further, and Soap surprisingly confessed that he had feelings for Hai Wan. This revelation left his friends in stunned silence, and the reunion ended on an awkward note. After returning from the reunion, Hai Wan went back home and pondered over what and Soap had said about liking her for a long time. On the other hand, and Soap couldn't believe he had confessed his feelings to Hai Wan so openly. Shortly after, Haewon visited his bookstore with something on her mind. However, before she could speak, and so quickly mentioned that what he said earlier didn't matter anymore. After that, he swiftly closed the door to his house. The scene then returns to Haewon's past memories. She was a new student from the city who had to live with her aunt because her parents had abandoned her. On her first day at school, all the students were really friendly and welcomed her. When Soap first saw Haewon's face, he instantly developed feelings for her. Now, Back in the present, and Soap opens the door for Haewon once more and asks why she came to his bookstore. Haewon explains that she just wanted to borrow a book from his store. After getting the book, she says her goodbyes to head home, and in Soap only gives her a quick glance before going back to his reserved self. However, as Haewon walks down a dark street, and Soap suddenly appears and lights up the way. His attention makes Haewon feel a bit happier. They then walk home together and to break the ice and Soap bravely asks about the tattoo on Hai Wan's arm. He compliments her on the beautiful tattoo, which brings a smile to Hai Wan's face once again. The following day, while Hai Wan was making a call at a public phone, 
she bumped into her school friend, Jiang Wu. He suggested they go to a cafe to catch up. At the cafe, they asked each other how they were doing. Jiang Wu also mentioned the big reunion happening at their old high school and hoped Hei Won would join. Towards the end of their chat, Jiang Wu invited Hei Won to a special place he thought she'd really like. In the evening, Jiang Wu took Hei Won to In Soap's bookstore. They met the youth and kids from the village. That night, they read and played together, creating a moment of happiness that Hei Won had never experienced before. After everyone had left, Hei Won borrowed another book from In Soap. Before heading home, she shared with In Soap that reading books could help her remember her life story, both in the present and the past. After that, Hei Won walked back home alone, while In Soap began reading his notebook, which he had been jotting notes in since high school. And Soap reminisced about the first time he met Hei Won and all the days they spent together in school. Even when the other students were singing in music class and Soap was fully engrossed in reading his notes about Hai Won. The next day, Hei Won spotted a job opening at In Soap's bookstore. She wasted no time and went straight to the bookstore to apply. And Soap received her job application and told Hei Won that she'd have to manage the shop while he handled online book deliveries. Just before In Soap was about to head out for deliveries, his parents and Lin Wei showed him genuine care and attention. Hai Won, witnessing this, felt a mix of jealousy and deep emotion because she had never experienced such a moment before. In the evening, after In Soap returned from book deliveries, Jiang Wu came over with some food and drinks. The three of them hung out together, and towards the end of their chat, Jiang Wu mentioned that a high school friend named Kim Bo Young wanted to meet Hei Won to resolve past issues. Afterward, Jiang Wu said his goodbyes and left. When he got home, Hei Won talked to In Soap about the situation with Bo Young. Bo Young was Hai Won's first female friend back in school. She was really nice to Hai Won, and they used to talk about their lives a lot. Whenever Hei Won faced difficulties, Bo Young was always there to lend a hand. But one day, while Hei Won was cleaning the school lab, she overheard some friends talking about her parent being in prison for murder. To Hai Won's shock, they admitted that they learned this from Bo Young, who already knew about Hai Won's family background. From that day on, all the students at school started calling Hei Won names because of her family's past. After sharing this story, Hei Won invited In Soap to come over to her place. However, In Soap had a bit too much to drink and ended up getting drunk and falling asleep. When Hei Won said goodbye to go home, In Soap mistakenly called her Iron and expressed how happy he was to be close to her. The next morning, Hei Won got up really early, eager to look her best for her job at In Soap's bookstore. When she arrived there, and Soap welcomed her with a cup of coffee, but he still seemed distant, engrossed in his book. Nonetheless, Hei Won felt happy just being with Soap. Before long, a woman showed up and called out to Hai Won. It turned out to be Bo Young. Unfortunately, Hei Won still held resentment towards Bo Young, so she quickly left both Bo Young and Soap. Going back in time, Hei Won had just returned home from school. At a crossroads, she came across a crowd of people watching a shocking accident. To her surprise, the accident was a planned murder carried out by her own mother. Her mom had used a car to intentionally strike her husband, who happened to be Hai Won's father. Tragically, Hai Won's father died on the spot. As a result of this horrifying incident, Hai Won's mom was sentenced to life imprisonment. Hei Won decided to confide in Bo Young, believing she could trust her. Bo Young promised not to share the information with anyone, but unfortunately, she broke that promise and told all the students about Hai Won's mom. Now back to the present, the temperature in the village dropped to minus 3 degrees Celsius that night. This led to the heating pipes in Mian Yeo's house freezing. At first, Mian Yeo suggested they stay at an inn called Bu Wan Inn. However, Hai Won's parents used to own that inn, and Mian Yeo didn't want to remind Hei Won of the painful past. Nevertheless, they were getting colder and colder, so Mian Yeo insisted that Hei Won ask and soap for help. Reluctantly, Hei Won sent a message to Ensoap. Ensoap, who hadn't been asleep yet, saw Hai Won's message and felt delighted. He quickly opened the door to his bookstore and welcomed Hei Won and her aunt to stay overnight. The following day, Man Yeo's house still had a broken heating system, making it too cold to stay in. Man Yeo mentioned she had a bad headache and couldn't stay there, so she decided to go to her friend's house for a few days. She planned to leave Hei Won in the village and return to Seoul. Upon hearing this, and Soap got worried and urged Hei Won to stay at his bookstore for the night. At first, Hei Won hesitated because she didn't want to inconvenience and Soap, but he insisted, and eventually, she agreed to stay at the bookstore. As night fell, Hei Won remembered her aunt's severe headache 
and decided to check her aunt's house to see if her mom had left any valuable items behind. While searching, Awon stumbled upon a letter her mother had written to Myeongyeo. Once she confirmed her aunt's house was secure, Awon returned to the bookstore and read a poem that In Soap had recited at school. Afterward, she wanted to find In Soap but couldn't locate him. As she was about to step outside, Lin Wee suddenly appeared and was also searching for In Soap. Lin Wee mentioned that In Soap often went to an old hut on the mountain behind the village to find solace, when life didn't live up to his expectations. Hearing this, Hyewon decided to go after In Soap in the mountains. Before she left, Lim, we warned Hyewon about rumors of people disappearing and never returning while climbing that mountain. But in reality, those rumors didn't apply to In Soap, as he always safely returned from his trips to the mountains. So while In Soap was up in the old mountain hut, pondering in solitude, Hyewon was braving her fears and walking alone through the forest. However, she kept hitting dead ends and started hearing someone following her. This frightened Hyewon causing her to run and even stumble. She continued to flee from the mysterious sounds until she accidentally bumped into someone. That someone turned out to be in soap, and she immediately hugged him tightly, as if she never wanted to let go. A little while later, and soap held High One's hand, and they descended the mountain together. After cleaning up, they sat down to enjoy some hot tea. They won then opened up about being frequently abandoned by her mom and fearing she would never return. This shared fear of losing someone they cared about drove Heiwon to go into the mountains. Now, Heiwon was beginning to develop feelings for Nsoap. Unfortunately, the reserve in Soap remained unaware of this. The next day, Lim, we went to school carrying Nsoap's wallet, thinking it might have a lot of money in it. To her surprise, she found a photo in the wallet showing a young boy and an adult man in a forest. Meanwhile, at the bookstore, Nsoap and Heiwon had just woken up. When they crossed paths outside their rooms, Things felt a bit awkward between them. After showering and having breakfast, and Soap suggested they go to town to buy some essentials from the store. While they were in the car, and Soap unintentionally offended Heiwon again. He had called her Irene the previous day when he was drunk, even though he had previously admitted that Irene was his younger sister. And Soap felt flustered, but then his father called to ask about their whereabouts. Not long after, they reached the town. When they got to the parking lot, and Soap hurriedly entered the shopping area leaving Heiwon behind. Unexpectedly, Bo Young approached Heiwon again, wanting to apologize for something that happened in the past. Eventually, Heiwon decided to hear Bo Young out. They went to a cafe, and Bo Young explained that she didn't mean to spread gossip about Heiwon's mom. However, Bo Young was once confronted by her friend named Bo Mi, who suspected that Heiwon's frequent daydreaming was due to her being pregnant. In her defense of Heiwon, Bo Young accidentally mentioned that it wasn't because of pregnancy, but because Hai Wan's mom was a murderer. It turned out that the one who spread the gossip to all the students was not Bo Young, but Bo Mi. However, Hai Wan still believed that Bo Young had told Bo Mi, so she remained upset and abruptly left Bo Young alone. Afterward, Hai Wan went to the pharmacy to buy headache medicine. Coincidentally, Meng Yeo also came to the pharmacy with the same intention. While they were there, a man arrived looking to purchase a large quantity of body warmers. He also informed them that a girl named Min Jiang had gone missing on the mountain behind the village while hiking. At the same time, Jiang Wu called and soap and informed him about the young girl who had disappeared on the mountain behind their village. Upon hearing this, and soap hurried to meet Jiang Wu on the mountain. When and soap arrived at the location, Jiang Wu explained that Min Jiang had been hiking with their group. However, she suddenly disappeared as they were nearing the base of the mountain, and they couldn't pinpoint the last place they saw her. Adding to the concern, Min Jiang had a sore throat and couldn't call for help. Moreover, the sun was setting, lending credence to the eerie mountain rumors. The police and local residents launched a search for Min Jiang, and Soap, who knew the mountain well, took a different route to look for her. When he reached a cliff, he spotted a woman's shoe. It turned out that Min Jiang had fallen into a ravine, unable to shout for help due to her sore throat and a dead cell phone. She had resorted to tapping a rock for attention. Fortunately, and Soap heard the sound and rushed to locate its source. Meanwhile, beneath the mountain, Heiwon had just learned that and Soap had gone alone on an alternative path, causing her to worry and panic. However, and Soap managed to find Min Jong, bringing her back and carrying her to safety. An ambulance soon arrived to provide further treatment. Heiwon felt relieved and proud seeing and Soap return home safely, playing the role of a hero. Initially, she wanted to welcome him immediately, but upon seeing and Soap's family already greeting him, she gave up on her intention and headed home with her aunt. 
Some time later, the villagers gathered once again at Insoap's bookstore to celebrate his success in saving Minjong. They shared stories about the novels and books they had enjoyed reading together late at night. As they were about to leave, Jiang Wu mentioned that Min Jiang wanted to meet Insoap. Hearing this, He Won couldn't hide her jealousy. After everyone had left, it was just the two of them remaining. Unexpectedly, and Soap gave He Won a pair of warm shoes. Afterward, He Won went to sweep the backyard, and when she finished, she found and Soap asleep. She covered him with a blanket and noticed an injury on his head. He Won sat next to him, admiring his calm demeanor. The next day, and Soap woke up, puzzled by the blanket. He remembered not using one the previous night, and Soap called out for Hai Won, but there was no response. It turned out He Won had gone to the market for some shopping. On the other side, there's an elderly woman who bears a striking resemblance to Hai Won's aunt, Man Yeo. This woman had just arrived in the village by bus. As she walked along, she coincidentally bumped into Hai Won. Surprisingly, Hei Won called her mother. The woman is Hai Won's recently released mother, Ma'am Ju. They walked into the village together, but when they passed by An Soap's bookstore, Hei Won stopped and entered the shop. Inside the bookstore, Hei Won shared the news with An Soap that her mom was now out of prison. This news surprised and soap, but he felt happy because now Hei Won was reunited with her mother. Not long after, Hei Won and her mother, along with her aunt, had a meal together. During the meal, they didn't talk much, and the atmosphere was quite awkward. Meanwhile, and soap was in the city shopping for books and ran into a man named Hindal. Hindal then inquired and soap about the rumors concerning Hai Won's mother being released from prison and being in the village. And soap confirmed the rumors, and Hindal appeared to be pondering something as if he had some connection to Myungju. Meanwhile, Hei Won spent an awkward day with her mother. Even though her mother had returned, things weren't the same, and their relationship felt strained. However, Hei Won tried to bridge the gap and get closer to her mom. Unfortunately, Man Ju remained indifferent and hesitant to acknowledge Hei Won as her daughter. Hei Won even threatened to leave home, and she followed through on her words by leaving her mother. The next day, Man Ju visited En Soap's bookstore and asked to speak with him. Surprisingly, Ma'am Ju inquired if Ensoap knew Hindal, and Soap confirmed that he recognized him. Hearing this, Ma'am Ju handed the letter to Ensoap and asked him to deliver it to Hindal before leaving. In the afternoon, Hei Won and Ensoap took a walk together. During their stroll, Hei Won confided in Ensoap about a problem with her mom that was bothering her. Ensoap listened and did his best to comfort Hai Won, trying to lift her spirits during her difficult time. In the evening, and Soap suggested they go watch a movie together. As they watched a scene with dancing, and Soap couldn't help but imagine himself dancing with Hai Won. His feelings for her had grown strong, even though he hadn't found the right moment to express them yet. When the movie ended, they began to close the shop. However, a man suddenly appeared, inquiring about an address. When the man saw Hai Won, he called out her name. Surprisingly, the man turned out to be one of Hai Won's high school friends named Young Wu. Young Wu was a popular guy back in school, and all the girls had a crush on him. However, he also had a reputation as a troublemaker, and the other boys were afraid of him. It turned out that Young Wu had fallen for Hei Won at first sight, and he had been secretly keeping an eye on her ever since. One evening after school, and Soap saw Hei Won struggling with a broken bicycle. He watched her from a distance, feeling too shy to approach her. However, as he walked away, and Soap couldn't get Hei Won out of his mind. He decided to go back and help her. But when he returned to where Hei Won was, he found her already being assisted by Young Wu. Seeing them together made In Soap feel jealous of the bond forming between Young Wu and Hai Won. In the present, Young Wu asked In Soap for directions to the new village hall. And Soap felt jealous and quickly guided Young Wu to prevent him from staring at Hei Won any longer. After dropping Young Wu off, and Soap returned home. But Hei Won continued talking about Young Wu. However, In Soap was already feeling jealous and didn't want to discuss it. He went to his room instead. The next day, and Soap delivered a letter from Myung Ju to Hindal. Meanwhile, at the bookstore, Hei Won was packing her belongings, ready to move back to her aunt's house, which had been repaired. When Hei Won came downstairs, she found Young Wu already in the bookstore. They chatted, and Young Wu gave his phone number to Hai Won. Towards the end of their conversation, Young Wu mentioned that some things were still the same. Hei Won asked him what he meant by that and Young Wu confessed that his feelings for her were still the same as before. During the weekend, their old high school hosted a big reunion event for all alumni, from the first graduating class to the most recent one. Hei Won dressed up beautifully, wearing earrings and a gold necklace. 
Before leaving, she said goodbye to her aunt and mentioned she would attend the reunion with Enso. However, when Hei Won left the house, she was surprised to find Hong Wu waiting for her, asking her to go to the reunion with him. In short, Chang Wu, who was part of the event committee, gave a speech and officially kicked off the reunion. After his speech, he approached In Soap, who was standing alone at the time. Jiang Wu informed In Soap that Hei Won had arrived at the event with Young Wu. This news left In Soap shocked and jealous. His face turned red, and he fell into silence. During the event, everyone gathered into their respective groups. They also had a display of old high school photos on the wall. However, Hei Won couldn't find In Soap's photo among them. This made her suspect that In Soap might have been isolated or not well liked during her school days. Meanwhile, and Soap crossed paths with Young Wu, and they appeared to have some animosity towards each other. It turned out that Young Wu used to attend music class, where he had many memorable moments. Upon entering the room, Young Wu noticed Tae Won playing the piano. She was performing a piece she had played back in high school. Young Wu continued to watch her, feeling a sense of peace listening to Hai Won's piano music. Afterward, the two of them strolled down memory lane, reminiscing about their high school days. When Hei Won was facing isolation from her classmates, Young Wu had been the only one who truly cared about her. Thanks to his support, the other students in their class stopped isolating her, and Hei Won considered Young Wu her hero. Their bond continued until they graduated, and now, after a long time apart, they were reunited. In fact, Young Wu had once again confessed his love to Hai Won. Unfortunately, she turned him down, explaining that their paths had diverged. Hei Won expressed her deep gratitude for the past help she had received from Young Wu, but when it came to matters of love, she couldn't accept his feelings. Afterwards, Hei Won left Young Wu behind because she had developed romantic feelings for Inso. She eagerly searched for Inso, but after a long search, she couldn't locate him. She considered checking their old classroom, but just then, Inso called her. Her memories of moments with Inso flooded back, and she rushed over to him. Facing each other, Hei Won mustered the courage to confess her feelings to In Soap. However, In Soap, who had never dated before, found himself bewildered by her declaration of love. Before he could respond, Jiang Wu suddenly appeared, interrupting the moment. Jiang Wu mentioned that there was something crucial they needed to discuss, prompting In Soap to follow him. At the same time, Lin Wei arrived on the scene and learned that Hei Won had confessed her love to In Soap. Lin Wei mistakenly believed that In Soap had rejected Hai Won's affection. When she returned home, Hei Won couldn't help but dwell on the perceived rejection from Inso, and it weighed heavily on her mind. The following day, she sought out Lin Wei and inquired why Inso had rejected her. Lin Wei suggested that Inso might have feelings for another woman. Shortly after, Hei Won got a ride from Jiang Wu and his friend, who invited her to their high school to help set up equipment for an event. During the ride, Hei Won also asked why Inso's photo was missing from the magazine. Jiang Wu explained that during their diploma photo shoot, and so had been absent from school, and this continued for three months. Hai Won, who didn't know much about In Soap, then asked Jiang Wu to share more about what In Soap was like before. Jiang Wu explained that In Soap had been a quiet student, someone who kept his problems to himself. However, there was one time when In Soap confided in Jiang Wu about a problem, which turned out to be something seemingly insignificant. He had lost a keychain. Hei Won suddenly recalled that she had given In Soap a keychain in the past. She remembered seeing a similar keychain in In Soap's car, with the words Irene saying goodnight. She believed it was the keychain she had gifted him. Hei Won bid farewell to Jiang Wu and the others and hurried to In Soap's bookstore. Upon arrival, she immediately inquired about the keychain. However, In Soap maintained a cold demeanor and avoided the topic, claiming that he had crafted the caring himself. Around the same time, Bo Young arrived at the bookstore and took Hei Won by surprise. And Soap explained that he had made plans with Bo Young. This revelation left Hei Won feeling disappointed, as the person she loved seemed to be getting closer to her perceived rival. Hei Won left the bookstore, and In Soap attended to Bo Young. However, as In Soap served Bo Young, he found himself thinking of Hei Won again. Suddenly, he mustered the courage to accept Hai Won's love. He hurriedly tried to catch up with her. Unfortunately, before he could leave, his mother asked him for help causing him to miss the opportunity to reach Hai Won. In the evening, both In Soap and Hei Won appeared bewildered. The following day, In Soap called Hei Won suddenly, informing her that he would be closing the bookstore for the next few days. He was sick, but Hei Won wasn't aware of it. In the afternoon, while Hei Won was chopping wood, her aunt approached her and delivered the news that In Soap was unwell. 
shocked, Hyewon rushed to the bookstore. Unfortunately, the shop was locked, and Ensoap had returned home to his mother. Meanwhile, Ensoap started feeling a bit better and ventured outside for some fresh air. During this time, someone called him by the name Jinho. Following the voice, he spotted the shadow of a woman and decided to follow her. Jang Wu later came to visit, but couldn't find Ensoap. He checked the bookstore, but Ensoap wasn't there either. Eventually, Jang Wu met Hei Won and together, they began searching for Ensoap. However, by nightfall, they still hadn't located him. Taking matters into her own hands, Hei Won bravely ventured into the mountain behind the village, despite her fear. She explored the area diligently and eventually stumbled upon an old house nestled in the middle of the forest. Hei Won entered the house and calmed through all the rooms, but Ensoap was nowhere to be found. Some time earlier, Ensoap had followed a mysterious woman deep into the mountains, even calling her mother along the way. However, he had a fall and lost consciousness. It turned out that Ensoap was the stepson of his current parents. Fast forward to the present, Ensoap woke up and realized it was already evening. He headed to the old cabin to collect his thoughts. To his surprise, he encountered Hai Won, who had been searching for him. They both entered the hut, and Ensoap urged Hai Won not to worry about him anymore, especially not to venture into the mountain again. He asked her to stop caring about him. Hai Won, who had made sacrifices for him, felt disappointed hearing Ensoap's words. They then headed home together, their feelings muddled and unclear. The following day, Hei Won was still working at Ensoap's bookstore. However, when she met Ensoap, she completely ignored him. While Hei Won was tending to the bookstore, her aunt visited and informed her that she would be going to Seoul for a few days. In the evening, Ensoap returned from town and found Hei Won asleep in the bookstore. He watched her and only then realized that she was sick. Hei Won woke up and was about to leave for home. But Ensoap stopped her and offered her some medicine. Still upset with Ensoap, Hei Won initially ignored him and walked away. Feeling guilty, Ensoap followed her and insisted that she take the medicine. However, Hei Won pressed for an answer about his feelings for her. Surprisingly, Ensoap rejected Hai Won's love, and this made her cry. She had thought of Ensoap as the bright sun after a storm, but he turned out to be just a passing rainbow that added color briefly and then faded, leaving her hurt. After Ensoap had rejected Hai Won's love, he looked bewildered, replaying moments he had spent with her in his mind. When he had the chance to be with Hai Won, he let it slip away. The following day, Ensoap, still confused, received a call from his father, who informed him that Lin Wei had lost her assignment book. Ensoap mentioned that the book had been left with her bag in the old hut. Around the same time, Hai Won arrived and was preparing to go to work when Ensoap asked her to retrieve Lin Wei's bag. Thankfully, Hei Won was determined and managed to accept the situation and its reality. Hei Won and Ensoap then headed to the old hut to get Lin Wei's bag. During the journey, they maintained their distance and seemed like complete strangers to each other. Upon reaching the old hut, Ensoap quickly retrieved Lin Wei's bag. However, as they were heading back, Hei Won suggested that Ensoap should go home first, as she intended to climb to the top of the mountain. Hei Won then continued alone but found herself in a slippery river. Fortunately, Ensoap arrived in time and extended his help, preventing Hei Won from falling. After reaching the mountain's summit, Hei Won was captivated by the breathtaking view. She openly admitted that she had come to terms with the bitter reality that they could no longer be together. Hei Won stressed that she would not hold any hope for Ensoap and intended to bury her love deep within herself. After pouring out her feelings, Hei Won began her descent. However, Ensoap abruptly halted her and kissed her passionately. In that moment, they officially became a couple and headed home with joyful hearts. Before parting ways for the evening, Ensoap mentioned that he would temporarily close his bookstore and give Hei Won some space to release her pent-up feelings. The next morning, Hei Won woke up with a beautiful smile on her face. Surprisingly, she felt much closer to her aunt, displaying warmth she hadn't shown before. Hei Won eagerly anticipated a call from Ensoap throughout the day, but as evening approached, her phone remained silent. Realizing it was getting late, she eventually went to bed, not expecting a call from Ensoap that night. The next day, Hei Won headed to Ensoap's bookstore, still a bit upset, and kept her distance from him. Ensoap mentioned that he was planning to attend an event organized by Jang Wu. This further irritated Hei Won because Ensoap didn't invite her to the event. Thankfully, Ensoap soon realized his mistake and eased Hei Won's frustration by kissing her. They then attended Jang Wu's event which turned out to be a book launch for popular books on the market and new releases. After the event concluded, they waited for the bus together. 
However, they were interrupted by a man who informed Nsope that his father was involved in a fight. Upon arriving at the scene, they found Nsope's father in a heated altercation with an elderly man. During the altercation, the old man hurled insults at Nsope's family and claimed that Nsope was not his father's son, but an orphan adopted from the streets. Nsope was taken aback by the old man's words, but he didn't dwell on it too much and escorted his father home. On the other hand, He Won left with Jiang Wu. During the journey, He Won asked Jiang Wu about the real Nsope. Jiang Wu shared the rumors he had heard during their childhood. People believed that Nsope was an orphan raised by animals in the mountains. Some even said that his parents were homeless and lived in the mountains near their village. In the past, Nsope lived happily with his biological father in an old shack on the mountain. His father had taught him to be independent. However, one day, when Nsope returned home after playing, his father was gone. Since then, he had been living alone until he was found by his current stepfather. Heiwon had learned about Nsope's difficult past, which made her feel sad for him. As Nsope's girlfriend, she met him and told him not to dwell on his past anymore. She encouraged him to focus on building their future together. They hugged, and Heiwon didn't want to let go, even when Nsope had to work. The romantic moment was interrupted when Lin Wei suddenly appeared. Meanwhile, a man who bore a resemblance to Nsope's biological father entered the village. The next morning, Heiwon dressed up beautifully and woke up Nsope, who was still asleep. While Hei Won went shopping, and Soap's bookstore was visited by a man who looked like In Soap's father. Surprisingly, it turned out to be In Soap's biological uncle Gil Dong. They had a conversation in the bookstore, during which Gil Dong suggested that In Soap step out of his comfort zone and experience life with his real family. Lin Wei overheard this conversation. When In Soap and Gil Dong left the bookstore, and Soap said goodbye to Lin Wei, explaining that he would be gone for a while and telling her not to wait for him. Lin Wei then informed her parents about Nsope's departure. A while later, Lun Siob was at the bus station, ready to follow Gildong. They arrived at a beach, and it turns out Gildong was a sailor. His goal was to take Nsope on a sailing journey to help him embrace his identity as part of a sailor family, unlike his real father who had hidden away in the mountains. Several months passed, and winter gave way to spring. Nsope's bookstore was always bustling with customers during the spring season. On this particular day, Members of the book community were busy serving the customers. As night fell and they were closing up shop, Heidwon and all the members of the book community in the village gathered to take a photo, celebrating their success in selling books. After everyone had left, Heidwon now managed the shop by herself. She couldn't help but feel sad because Nsope wasn't there to share in the success of the bookstore. As Heidwon was about to head home, she was overjoyed to see Nsope return after being missing for so long. They walked together and Heidwon asked Nsope if he would stay or leave. However, Nsope didn't provide a clear answer and instead Heidwon reminded that she had initially planned to return to Seoul after spring, after spending the winter in the village. The following day, Heidwon and Nsope were back at the bookstore, working together. They received a call informing them that the rent for the land where Nsope's bookstore was located was due. Nsope was asked to visit the landowner's house to discuss the rent. He invited Heidwon along, but when they arrived at the landowner's house, they were surprised to receive not a rent discussion, but instead, the landowner gifted Nsop ten very rare old books. The man asked Nsop to take care of these books and to continue running a bookstore on his land. After returning from the landowner's house, Heiwon and Nsop decided to take a walk. During their walk, Nsop once again expressed his love for Haiwon. As night fell, they returned to the bookstore and began preparing the books for the next day's sales. It was then that Heiwon unexpectedly mentioned as she wanted to spend the night with Nsop. Surprised, Nsop agreed, and as he started unbuttoning his shirt, Heiwon couldn't wait any longer and passionately kissed him. The two of them spent the night together, sharing their love. Meanwhile, Myung Yeo received a visit from her friend, who delivered the sad news that one of their friends had passed away. Myung Yeo and her friend went to their late friend's house to pay their respects. There, Myung Yeo saw her friend's husband, who deeply mourned the loss of his wife, this sight reminded Myung Yeo of Myung Ju. In the past, Hai Won's mother had suffered from domestic abuse at the hands of her alcoholic husband. There came a moment when Myung Ju and Myung Yeo tried to escape from Myung Ju's husband. However, as they attempted to drive away, Myung Ju's husband blocked their path. In a desperate move, Myung Yeo ended up hitting Myung Ju's husband with the car. In that critical moment, Myung Ju instructed Myung Yeo to flee and promised to take the blame to save her from imprisonment. Menju also went to great lengths to remove Myung Yeo's fingerprints and replace them with her own, 
making it appear as if she had killed her abusive husband. Returning to the present, and Soap checked to make sure he won was sound asleep. Satisfied, he began writing a letter addressed to her. The following day the book community gathered once more, and Lin Wei brought her school friend, Yang Su, who was eager to join them. They all engaged in their community activity, which involved reading books together. After their gathering, Jiang Wu, who was about to head home, received a call from his school friend, Yun Xiao. It turns out that Jiang Wu had a crush on Yun Xiao since their high school days. His love story mirrored and Soap's previous experience. He loved someone but couldn't be with them. Yun Xiao inquired about Jiang Wu's whereabouts, as she needed him for something. Unfortunately, Jiang Wu, who was relatively new to experiencing love, felt nervous and claimed to be busy. Meanwhile, Bo Young was flipping through the book she borrowed from in Soap's bookstore the day before. Memories from high school flooded back, reminding her that she had once harbored feelings for in Soap. In the evening, Bo Young decided to meet in Soap and confess her love to him. However, in Soap's heart was already devoted to Hai Wan, so he gently turned down Bo Young's advances. Disheartened, Bo Young left in Soap behind, filled with disappointment. On another note, Jang Wu was overjoyed after receiving a call from Un Seal, the girl he had liked since high school. He couldn't help but look at Yun Seal's profile photo with immense happiness. Even though their conversation was about trivial matters, Jang Wu managed to obtain Yun Seal's phone number, which meant the world to him. Meanwhile, and Soap continued pouring his feelings into the letter he was writing to Hai Wan. He recalled all the moments from their school days when he secretly admired her. And Soap even expressed his deep desire to live together with Hai Wan in the old hut left by his biological parents. As he typed away, Hai Wan suddenly appeared having run away from Myung Yeo's house. That night, they shared another beautiful evening together. On the other hand, Bo Young was feeling utterly hopeless after her love confession to In Soap was rejected. She contemplated to jump into a mountain ravine. Before taking any drastic actions, Bo Young decided to call In Soap, hoping to make him feel regretful. Unfortunately, In Soap was deeply engaged in an intimate moment with Haewon and didn't hear his phone ring. Desperate, Bo Young called the bookstore's landline and in soap answer. In a desperate move, Bo Young lied, claiming that she had fallen into a mountain ravine and begged in soap for help. Hei Won overheard the conversation and decided to go in, in soap's place. When she reached the mountain, she found Bo Young walking down. Hei Won scolded Bo Young, telling her that her actions were embarrassing, as she had pleaded for love from a man who didn't reciprocate her feelings. Bo Young could only cry in response. The following day, Hei Won arrived at the bookstore early in the morning. She playfully woke up in soap, attempting to kiss him, but he suddenly woke up and playfully thwarted her advances. They shared a romantic and joyful moment together. Meanwhile, Jang Wu felt a sense of happiness as he mustered the courage to approach Yun Seal. Seeing some flowers in a shop reminded her of the past when Jang Wu had given her flowers as a gesture of his love. However, back then, the innocent Yun Seal didn't understand the meaning behind Jang Wu's actions. She even stated that she didn't like flowers and didn't accept the letter hidden within them. After Yun Seal left, Jang Wu's friends emerged from their hiding place and teased him about his rejected love. Back at the bookstore, Hei Won opened In Soap's laptop and started reading the letters he had written for her. And Soap had gone back to sleep and then woke up again. When he saw Hei Won reading his laptop, he panicked and felt embarrassed that she was reading his love letters directly. Hei Won teased In Soap for writing the letters a bit too extravagantly. And Soap, feeling embarrassed, playfully dodged her teasing, and they both continued to enjoy their romantic banter. In the evening, a new member joined the book reading community, and it was Un Seal. After reading a book about love, a boy named Sung Ho asked Un Seal if love was painful. The innocent Yi Un Seal threw the question at Jang Wu. To impress Un Seal, Jang Wu claimed that he had never been rejected and had never experienced heartache because of love. That night, Yun Seal stayed at Hai Wan's aunt's house along with Sung Ho, as Sung Ho's grandfather was sick. The next morning, and so came to pick up Sung Ho. Hei Won was about to wake up her aunt when she was shocked to find Myung Yeo unconscious. Hei Won rushed Myung Yeo to the hospital. After regaining consciousness, Myung Yeo quickly changed her clothes and told Hei Won not to worry about her anymore. She also reminded Hei Won to return to Seal since winter had passed and spring had arrived. Upon arriving home, Min Yeo waited for her older sister, Myung Ju. She already knew about Min Yeo's illness and asked her what was wrong. Min Yeo then removed her sunglasses, revealing that one of her eyes had changed due to a serious head injury. 
She explained that she had experienced severe trauma after killing Hai Wan's father, and her head condition had worsened due to her constant thoughts about her past actions. Not long after, Hai Wan suddenly entered the house, breaking the tension in the air. As night fell, Mian Yeo continued to write down her life story, starting from the moment she killed Hai Wan's father to her current serious illness. She sent her writings to Nsope so that he could learn the true events surrounding Hai Wan's parents. And Soap read Mian Yeo's story through the night, and after finishing, gave the writings to Hai Wan, asking her to read them alone at Mian Yeo's house. Before Hai Wan could discover the dark truth, and so held her tightly and made plans to meet after she finished reading. When Hei Won returned home from Insoap's bookstore, she began reading the writings, which turned out to be a novel by her aunt. Page after page, Hei Won uncovered the real events that had transpired with her parents. Overwhelmed by the revelations, she couldn't continue reading. Her mother arrived, and Hei Won expressed her deep disappointment and heard of the lies surrounding her family. She felt betrayed because her mother had protected her aunt and sacrificed herself to be imprisoned. Filled with disappointment and profound sadness, Heiwon left her home. Heiwon waited alone at a bus stop, then boarded a bus heading to Seoul. On the bus, she couldn't help but feel sad and couldn't believe that such an important truth had been concealed by her mother and aunt. And so, realizing Heiwon was leaving her aunt, followed her to the bus terminal and managed to find her there. And Soap then gave his jacket and offered his shoulder as support for Hai Won. After Hai Won had calmed down a bit, and Soap guided her back to her village. Surprisingly, instead of taking her to his village, and Soap led Hai Won to the house where he had lived, the place where his real father had passed away. He showed her around the house and tried to comfort her, by explaining that what her mother and aunt had done to conceal this dark truth was a way of expressing their love for her. He clarified that if Hai Won had known this truth a long time ago, she would have been suffering all this time. And Soap emphasized that Hei Won should not hold any anger towards her aunt and mother, as they truly loved her with all their hearts. Understanding this, Hei Won decided to return to her village. Before parting ways, and so put Hei Won once more and reminded her not to harbor any resentment towards her mom and aunt. Upon reuniting with her aunt, Hei Won immediately inquired why they had kept this fact hidden. Just as in Soap had explained, Mian Yeo revealed that they didn't want Hei Won to suffer and preferred her to be blissfully unaware of the harsh truth. She further stated that she was sharing this information now because she could no longer bear her illness and guilt and intended to turn herself into the police. Following this conversation, Hei Won went to a shop and got very drunk, attempting to drown out the weight of the problems she was currently facing. The following day, Hai Won, who had been so drunk that she passed out, woke up at Bo Young's place. Bo Young had kindly taken care of her when she was heavily intoxicated. Afterward, Hei Won returned to her village and noticed a police car parked at Mian Yeo's house. Fortunately, the police were not arresting Nyan Yeo, but instead they were apprehending a disturbed woman who had been hiding behind Mian Yeo's house. This incident made Hei Won realize that her aunt's actions were driven by love. Hai Won's heart softened, and she forgave her aunt. She even asked her aunt not to turn herself into the police and invited her to rebuild their family with her mom. Hei Won then visited the bookstore and shared the news of her reconciliation with Nso. However, Hei Won still faced a more significant issue than her family's secrets. She explained that spring had come to an end, indicating that she would be leaving the village soon. She wished Nso's bookstore continued success, but didn't promise to return to the village. After bidding farewell, Hei Won left Nso, who was left alone with the feeling that he couldn't fully have Hai Won. A year had passed since Hei Won left the village. Now, with the snow gone, all the villagers had returned to their fields to resume farming. And Soap, on the other hand, found himself alone once more after sharing a memorable time with Hai Won, who had left him with enduring memories. Her departure left a void that in Soap couldn't fill. Meanwhile, Hei Won had gone back to Seal to pursue her dream of becoming a musician. She had taken part in various competitions and had reached a national level of play. As for Myung Yeo and Myung Ju, they were living together in Myung Yeo's house. Both Hei Won and In Soap continued to miss each other, with no news exchanged between them, neither by phone nor letter. The longing for one another persisted in their hearts. One day, Hei Won went to a cafe and bumped into Young Woo. Young Woo hadn't given up on expressing his feelings for Hai Won, but this time, Hei Won firmly told him that she loved In Soap. A few days later, Meng Yeo was taken by surprise when Hai Won arrived in the village and planned to stay for a week. They shared a meal together at a local eatery, and Mang Yu asked if Hai Won had succeeded in achieving her dream. 
Heiwon sadly admitted that all her efforts had failed. While they were dining, Jang Wu walked into the restaurant and was astonished to see Haiwon. However, Jang Wu didn't eat at the shop. When Heiwon glanced outside, she noticed that Jang Wu was with In Soap and another woman. Sadly, Heiwon could only watch In Soap from a distance and couldn't approach him. After not eating at the shop, Jang Wu ran into Eun Seo and invited her to spend time together. After treating her to ice cream, Yeon Seal gave Jang Wu a sign that she would accept his love if he confessed. Unfortunately, Jang Wu, not being very perceptive, didn't understand Yeon Seal's signal. Yeon Seal, no longer able to hide her feelings, confessed that she liked Jang Wu. Upon hearing this, Jang Wu impulsively kissed Yeon Seal, and from that day on, they officially started dating. Meanwhile, Haewon and In Sook finally crossed paths again. Unfortunately, the reunion felt a bit flat and it didn't last long because Nsop had to go commemorate his real mother's death. However, as Nsop was leaving, he saw Heiwon chasing after him. He stopped the car and stepped out, and Heiwon begged him for one last hug, knowing it might be their final embrace. After their hug, Heiwon apologized for interrupting Nsop and wished him happiness with the woman she saw at the shop. She also told Nsop that she was leaving. However, Nsop clarified that the woman was just a friend of his in Jangwu's and he asked how long Hei Won would be gone and when she would return. Hei Won blushed and smiled happily upon hearing this. A few days later, Hei Won returned to work at Ensope's bookstore. Ensope had just returned after delivering some ordered books. Hei Won overjoyed, hugged Ensope tightly, and didn't want to let go. After being apart for some time, they shared a kiss and rekindled their love story. They promised to take care of each other and not leave each other's side. The moral lesson from this story is don't let a romantic moment be ruined by a phone call from someone wanting to jump off a mountain, especially when you're in the middle of a romantic moment.